How do we do? <laughs> Hi guys, Shalva from Life is No Yoke. So you got the 20 ounce or the eight ounce container attachments for your scent series and you love the idea of them, but they're a little bit frustrating. Or you're looking into purchasing them because they're awesome, but you've read some reviews that say that they're, the base is having a hard time reading it. I totally understand. When these first came out, I was so, so excited. And then when we got them in the mail, I was flustered. It was hard to get my machine to detect the containers, and that was annoying to me. But I figured out the trick, and with a little bit of practice, it's no problem at all. So I'm gonna teach you this really quick trick on how to make sure that your Ascent Series Vitamix actually detects your 20 and your eight ounce containers. Ready? Okay, so, We'll show you some close-ups here, but the trick is that both the base and the containers have a little arrow. So you've got to find the arrow on the base. It's right here. You might need your readers for it, but it is right here on the base. And then you need to find the arrow on the corresponding container. Now I was looking on this side. It's not there. You actually have to look on this side. So it is right here on the container, and we'll show you a close up, but you need to match up those arrows as best you can. It just needs to be within the range. So if you have things in this container here, you're gonna hold it this way. You've got an arrow right here, and you're gonna match it up with this arrow, and you're gonna spin it. Now it's pretty easy to over or under tighten these if you don't use this trick. We've definitely made that mistake before, but if you line up the arrows correctly, it's a pretty much a no fail trick. So let's see if my machine detects the eight ounce container here. Do you know I'm here? All right, so it knows I'm here, which is awesome. So you see when I take it off, it has the X. When I put it on, it knows it's there. Let's quickly do it with the 20 ounce. We've got our arrow here and our arrow here. The easiest thing, is that it's in between the silver. There's an arrow on either side. So it's in between the two silver things. You just wanna make sure that you match them up, which sometimes is easier said than done. All right, so let's see if it reads my 20 ounce container. Right now it says there's nothing on it. And now it says there is, which is like actually really exciting. These are like the first two times I've gotten it to work in a row. But if you do it correctly, it works. So just to be really, really clear, the goal is to end with the arrows in the same range, but the trick to actually get you there is to start with the arrows in the same range. So it took me a while to figure that out, but if you start with the two arrows in the same range and you spin it on, then it will also end within the correct range and work, hopefully for you every time. Yep. All right. So that's the trick for getting your Vitamix containers, the eight and the 20 ounce containers to be read by your Vitamix Ascent machine. No matter which of the Ascent series machines you have, this trick should work for you. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. So we've certainly gone through the pain of trying to figure this out. We used this, these attachments several times before we got the trick. Um, we have over tightened it and it was impossible to get the base off from the container. You got it. I'm the one that put it on. You got it. You got it. And we've under tightened it, and that was a pretty big disaster. But 
It's really easy once you get the trick and we took the time to figure out the trick for you. So hopefully once these arrive for you, it won't be a problem at all. Line up the arrows to start, line up the arrows to end, and it should work every time. Okay. Oh, look at the bubbles. How do we do? Better than last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Let me stand up. Ooh, it's so white. You want to sit? From the jug? Yeah. It's gonna give me a milk mustache. The good kind of milk mustache. Ah! How is it? It's really good. It's good, right? Yeah, especially for like being it. unsweetened. I like it better than almond milk. It's very good. I can try. Mm -hmm. I think you can make it like a lot of different flavors. Yeah, you can. Well, I got a, a really frothy sip. <laughs> it's, it, is it is it like toasty, smoky, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Hang on. <laughs> okay, it's so good. Do we need it for a video for a photo? <laughs>